hey guys let me show you how to draft and cut about 10 to 11 trendy neckline design that can be suitable for your top or your dress so number one on my list is round neckline so from my center front on my shoulder line i'm going to come in by 3.5 inches if you are plus size you can increase the inches so i'm coming down by five inches which is here so i'm going to connect it round like this with the cuff side of my ruler just like this so for my shoulder slope i'm going to measure one inch downward here and i'm going to connect like so so after connecting i'm going to cut it out so now after cutting this is what i have as you can see this is my round neck line so i'm moving on to the second one which is square neckline to get that on my shoulder line here from my center front i'm going to come in by four inches which is here if you are plus size you can increase the inches and i'm coming down by five inches from my shoulder so what i have here on my shoulder i'm going to measure it here as well which is four inches so i'm going to connect from here to here to here now just to make it accurate So I'm measuring one hinge from my shoulder slope from here and I'm going to connect like so. After connecting, I'm going to cut it out. Now this is my square neck line, as you can see. Can you see the beauty of this? Now the next one on my list is boat neck line. To get that, I will easily come here, my armhole line from my ham hole line here on my shoulder line i'm going to come in by 1.5 just like this and from my shoulder line here i'm coming down by four inches for my neck depth so i will easily connect it like so and as for my shoulder slope i'm coming down by one inch from here i'm going to connect so i'm cutting it out Now, this is my bolt neckline, as you can see. Can you see that? So, after the bolt neckline, the next one is sweetheart neckline. To get that, on my shoulder line from my center front, I'm coming in by 3.5 inch. If you are plus size, you can increase the inches. And I'm coming down by 7 inches. What I have here on my shoulder line, I'm going to repeat it here, just to make it accurate, which is 3.5 inches. And I'm going to cross-check these two, 7 inches. So, I'm going to connect like so after connecting to create that sweet art neckline from this shoulder line on this line i'm going i'm going to come down by five inches which is here so what i'm going to do now is to just connect from here to here with the cuff side of my ruler just like this so here is it if you want it straight you can just leave it like this but if you want it curved a little bit at this side just place your curve ruler like this and connect. Now I'm going to cut it out. So here is it. Look how beautiful it is. Can you see? But if you want it straight, you can just cut it like this. Hope you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, just cut it like this and let me just flip it in for you to see how it's going to look like if it is straight can you see now if you want it straight you can leave it like this but if you want it curve you can leave it like this so as for my shoulder slope i will just measure one inch here and connect just like this I'm going to cut it off now the next on my list is scallop neckline so on my shoulder line here i'm coming in by four inches from my center front and as for the neck depth i'm coming down by eight inches so what i have here i'm going to repeat it here four inches and i'm cross checking eight inches so i'll easily connect it like so so from my neckline here on this line, 
I'm going to come down by 2 inches. From these 2 inches, I'm coming down by 2 inches again. So I'm coming down by 2 inches again from this point till I reach here. This one too is 2 inches from this point. So what I'm going to do now is to just measure from this point. I'm measuring 1 inch just like this and I'm going to connect it straight. So from this point, I'm measuring 2 inches. I'm going to connect it straight. And as from this one too, I'm coming out by, I'm coming in by two, I mean three inches, and I'm going to connect it. So to get that scallop neckline, I'll just connect like so. Just watch as I'm connecting to form that round, that shape we are talking about. As for the shoulder slope, I'm going to come down by one inch and I'm going to connect just like this. So I'll now cut it off. Well, I'm done with this follow neckline. Can you see? Look how beautiful it is. So I'm moving on to the next one, which is Queen Anne neckline. Now to get my Queen Anne neckline from my center front here, I mean, and from my center front on my shoulder line, I'm coming in by three inches. I'm going to come down by eight inches for my neck depth. So I'm repeating what I have here. Three inches, let me cross check. Eight inches, okay. So I'll now connect like so, just to make it accurate. After that, I'm going to measure from this, from my shoulder line on this line. I'm measuring six inches downward. So from this point now, I'll just come out by 1.5 inch. I'm going to roll it out just like this. This is where it is. So what I'm going to do now is to just connect from here to here and to this place. If you want it straight here on this side, you can just connect it like this. But if you want it curved a little bit, you can place your curve ruler here. Just like this and connect. Whichever way you want it, it's your preference. So as for the now part here, I'll just place my cup roller like this and connect from here to here. Just like this. So if you want it straight, you can cut it here. If you want it cut, you can cut it here. So let me just measure one inch for my shoulder slope here and I'm going to connect to my neckline just like this. After connecting, I'm going to cut it out. So if you want it sculpted, you can just leave it like this. I'll show you. Look how beautiful it is. But if you want it straight, just cut it like this. If you want it straight, you can just cut it like that and we just flip it in. Can you see that? So I'm done with the queen hand leg line. I'm going to move on to the next one, which is deep V neckline, and it's also called sharp V. Sharp V neckline design. So from my center front here, I'm going to come in by three inches on my shoulder line. If you want it wider, you can increase the inches. So from my Shoulder line here for my neck depth. I'm going to measure eight inches. You can make it nine, ten inches. Dep depends on how deep you want it. So I'll just connect from here to here with the straight side of my ruler, just like this. For my shoulder slope, I'm measuring one inch here, and I'm going to connect to my neckline, just like like this. After doing that, I'm going to cut it out. That's just it. So this is my sharp or deep V neckline design. So moving on to the next one, which is going to be monostrap or one shoulder neckline design. So to get my monostrap or one shoulder neckline design, I'm going to open up my basic bodies pattern like this and go ahead to my armhole line and measure three inches inward from here so after that from my center 
I mean from my shoulder line on my center front, I'm going to come down by 4 inches or 6 inches if I want it wider. From this shoulder line on this side, I'm going to come down by 6 inches. If I want it wider, I'll just level up with my armpit here to this place. So I'm going to connect it now for you to see how it's going to look like from this point to this point and this point. So, so if you want it deeper, you can just measure from your, from your shoulder line on the center line here. You can just measure 6 inches downward and connect from here to here and to level up with the armpit here if you want it wider or deeper. So just like this. I'm going to level it up with my armpit here just in case you want it deeper or wider. So I'm going to cut it off now. So that's just it for the first line. If you want it wider, you can just cut this piece off like this. As for the shoulder, shoulder slope, just come down by one inch from here and connect to the neckline just like this and cut it off. Can you see that? That's it for my one strap or one shoulder neckline design. So I'm moving on to the next one which is curve V neckline, curved V neckline. So from my center front here on the shoulder line, I'm going to come in by four inches and I'm coming down by seven inches for my neck depth. This is my neck width and this is my neck depth. What I'm going to do for this is to just connect with the curved cuff side of my ruler, just like this. So I'm coming here for my shoulder slope. I'm coming down by one inch for my shoulder slope here and I'm going to connect just like this. So I'll now cut it out. So this is my curved V neckline, as you can see. It's a little bit curved, not sharp as the one we drafted before. So the next one on my list is U neckline. So from my center front here on my shoulder line, I'm coming in by 3.5 inches. If you are a big size person, if you are a plus size person, you can increase the inches. That is for my width. And for my de neck depth, I'm coming down by 8 inches. If you, if you want it deeper than that, you can increase the inches. So what I have here on my shoulder line, I'm going to repeat it here just to make it accurate. What I have here, which is 3.5 inches, I'm going to measure it out here as well. And I'm going to cross-check what I have here on this side as well, which is 8 inches. So I'm going to connect like so. Just to make it accurate and after that i'll just curve this place like this i'm going to curve it like this to form that u so as for my shoulder slope i'm coming down by one inch on this side and i'm going to connect to my neckline just like this so i'm going to cut it out like so I'm going to cut this piece like this and this is my U neckline as you can see so I'm moving on to the next one which is asymmetric neckline so to get my asymmetric neckline I'm going to open up my basic body pattern like this for me to get my asymmetric any design of your choice that you want to draft you have to open up your is either your fabric is that you are drafting directly on your fabric and make sure if you are drafting on your fabric make sure you draw all the how all the design make sure you draw the design you want for your asymmetric neckline on the right side of your fabric note that please so to get it accurately so what i'm going to do now is to just measure from here I'm going to measure three inches here to get the actual asymmetric we are seeing on the screen on the screen rather. So I'm measuring three inches from my center front here. It's a little bit, little bit tricky, but if you follow what I'm teaching now, you'll get it. So from the center line, measure three inches outward like this and another four inches outward. You know, we have two points here now. On this side, I'm going to measure 
5.5 inch outward like this if you are a plus size person you can make it 5.75 or 6 inches on this side you can make it you can make it the first point maybe 3.25 or 3.5 and the second one should be 4.25 or 4.5 inches so from the center front here on the shoulder line i'm measuring 3.5 inches downward just like this please note very well if you are a plus size person you can increase it to 4 inches so that is it for that. On this side now, I'm going to measure 6 inches downward. Just to draw out the neckline, the asymmetric neckline you are seeing on the screen. So I'm going to connect straight down now. Just like this. Just to make it accurate, let me cross check. 6, I mean 4 inches. Can you see that? That is why you have to cross check. So let me withdraw it. So this is the right one now. So to get that um, shape you are seeing on the screen, I will just be creative with what I want to draw here now. So this is how it looks like. So I think I am on the way. So from this point now, I'm going to just draw it like this. Just be creative with whatever you are doing and connect it this way. Can you see that? It's like it's okay there. I'll just make it visible very well. Make it bold for you guys to see. That is the importance of pattern drafting before cutting on the fabric. So I think I'm okay like this. So to get my Shoulder slope cut out. I'm going to fold it again and measure one inch downward from the shoulder line on this side. So I'm going to connect to the neckline here. I'm going to cut it out before I cut my shape. After cutting, to cut out my asymmetric neckline out, I'm going to open it up like this and follow the shape. So here is it. Can you see how beautiful it looks like? So this is where I'm stopping for today, guys. If you find my tutorial helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel to support my channel. If you have any question pertaining to cotton and sewing, you can join me on my Facebook group, Details to Sewing. Created by Akuridi Adenike. I'm on Twitter and Instagram at Akuridi Adenike. Please show some love by liking and following my page on Facebook at Akuridi Adenike Sewing Tutorial. Till I see you in my next video, guys. Stay safe, stay blessed. Bye for now.